Hey guys, what's up? Uh, who is this? This is Jay Oletto from PWPNation.com, the owner and founder of Pro Wrestling Powerhouse. Jay, man, uh, hey, uh, well, a little bit of outside interference, but welcome uh, to another wrestling podcast. Thank you so much. Great working with you guys. Yeah, so, Jay, we have you here. Um, you know, let's talk a little, some, a little bit about something that's happening now. Um, no more Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins was injured uh, just the other day. Uh, what are your thoughts on, uh, you know, no more Seth Rollins? The pretty much uh, the, the workhorse right now of WWE is gone for up to oh, almost nine months now, it could be. Yeah, it's devastating. You know, he was getting the push of his career. He may never get a push like this again. That's just the reality of the business. However, uh, my hope is that he goes on to have an even better push when he returns, hopefully as a baby face. A lot of fans out there aren't too familiar with the way the knee works. Uh, as a sports fan as well as a wrestling fan, he has a completely blown out knee. So the nine month time span on this seems to be pretty modest in my opinion it could be more like a year depending on how hard he goes but a completely devastating blow to wwe and also to seth rollins himself now now jay do you think that what they're doing with uh the title now this kind of setting up this this whole tournament that we're we're finding out about on raw do you think that this is the best way that they should go or do you think that they should have done something different yeah they had to call an audible and uh, this is a way to get some wrestlers involved in the world title picture without putting them I into it permanently. You know what I mean? So uh, with the way the brackets look, it seems pretty obvious that we're going to have a uh, semifinals and finals at Survivor Series, which is fine. Uh, Del it looks like Del Rio versus Reigns will be the semifinal on one side and Ambrose versus Owens on the other. But um, I think it's the way to go. They could have went the route of, of just doing – crowning the new champion on Raw by doing a battle royal like they did back in, I believe it was 2006 when Batista went down to injury and Kurt Angle won in a uh, battle royal on SmackDown. But going a tournament is the way to go. I think overall the fans are pretty happy about it. Sure. Now, uh, you know, Jay, uh, before this all happened, uh, Roman Reigns was the number one contender set to face uh, Rollins at Survivor Series. Now, you know, those plans have changed, obviously, with the whole uh, tournament. But, uh do you think the Roman Reigns, is that too predictable for us kind of fans right now uh, for him to win it, um, considering, you know, he was just the number one contender? Do they have to do this whole series uh, just for him to win it? Or is it or is it just the, you know, is it an obvious choice of what we need right now? I think it's 50-50, guys. I really do. Uh, between Reigns and Ambrose at this point, I mean, it, it looks like tonight, it looks like on Raw. Uh, Triple H was kind of setting up Roman Reigns for this big run to the finals of the tournament, which is the way they had to go. Um, he's been set up, like you said. But to have Ambrose in a situation where he can foil the entire plan for Roman Reigns, having Roman Reigns in a situation where he can foil the plan for Dean Ambrose, I think that it's it's very unpredictable. What do you guys think? I mean, where does Dean Ambrose fall into this equation? I think that if Dean Ambrose doesn't do something big within you know the next couple months whether that be win this tournament or win the rumble or something like that then he's going to get lost in the shuffle and it's it's a shame because when everybody asked me at the beginning of the shield who was going to be the first person to win you know world championship i i said ambrose and uh, a lot of people said reigns and uh, a lot of people were surprised i would say whenever rollins ended up doing that but I'm a, I'm a little nervous for, for Ambrose right now if something big doesn't happen to him soon. Yeah, and I mean, the only thing that could happen right now is he needs some kind of character change, whether he go heel or just, I don't know, change up something a little bit to where, uh, for me, you put the strap on him, you put the championship on him, and you're not going to see him on the Today Show representing the company, you know what I mean? To where I don't think he has that you know, uh, character to, to be the world champion, especially as long as how Seth Rollins was, uh, unless they use him as like a kind of a quick transitional champion, but that would suck for him and his career. But poor guy, poor guy. I don't know. And Roman Reigns, man, I mean, they pretty much teed him up for the past year and a half. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, I think this is going to be his time to shine. We'll see what he could do with it. I don't know. Yeah, Ambrose has that Mick Foley appeal to me where he can get the sympathy from the crowd if he somehow gets screwed over at Survivor Series in some way, shape, or form. Either, you know, 
to the knowledge of Roman Reigns or not, um, maybe Triple H really does want Roman Reigns to be the champion, and he just does it on his own to still entice Reigns to join the authority. So I think there's a lot of variables that go into it, but if anything, I think they should give Ambrose as much sympathy as possible, because even though he has lost a lot of key matches in his last year and a half run against Rollins, I still don't think he's got the sympathy that he can that he can have, which will lead to a much bigger win in the future. Now, uh, Jay, obviously, Survivor Series it is a uh, it's a big pay per view, or I should say, it it was a big pay per view. Um, always used to be one of the big four: SummerSlam, WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, Survivor Series. But now, do you feel that? Survivor Series is almost a secondary pay-per-view, like a fast lane or a payback or whatever, because there's not as much emphasis. They almost gave away. They were going to do a five-on-five. I mean, they did it on Raw like two weeks ago. They did a like a traditional Survivor Series match on Raw right before Survivor Series. Do you think that it's uh, you know lost its appeal, or do you think that it could make a comeback the way that it used to be? Unfortunately, it's lost its appeal, and that's just the reality of it. It seems like the entire creative team or the higher ups within WWE took their focus off of Survivor Series back in you know the early two thousands, mid two thousands, and kind of were using it just as a catapult into WrestleMania season instead of actually doing what it what it represented in the nineties and building off of feuds and continuing feuds and making things happen in an exciting way. Uh, last year was pretty exciting with uh, Sting's first appearance inside a WWE ring, so they did give us a big moment last year. But I feel like it needs a series, no pun intended, but a series of big moments in the future, in future years, to bring back the legitimacy of the pay-per-view. All right. Well, uh, Jay Leto, man, I appreciate you stopping by from PWPNation.com. Uh, Jay, we talked a little bit with you, but we hope to talk with you more in the future. But thanks for stopping by and creating some outside interference for us. Absolutely. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs>